Hello ladies and gentlemen, the Gaddis here bringing you the game so far for Paranautical Activity. This is the game that was known for not getting on Steam via the publisher Adult Swim because they had already made a Steam Greenlight page and they didn't want to give the message that a publisher can just get them past. A uh, pretty stupid situation if you ask me, but anyways, they did finally get past Greenlight and uh, you can buy them on Early Access now. So as with uh, many other games, I am going to see how it is in its current state. They do plan to add many features and expand the content in general, but we're just going to look at it and how it functions currently. Alright, so graphic settings, you can do all this. You could change your uh, screen resolution in the uh, prompt when you launch the game and uh, all that. FOV goes up to 150. Uh, I'm just going to be playing at 100 though, but it does go up pretty high. And all the way down to 30, I would, uh, that would be terrible. But yeah, we're going to stick to 100 for me. And... Uh, Pretty good for that. Uh, controls are pretty basic. Uh, we'll just go into the game now. Alright, so when you start out the game, you can choose from v many different starting types, including uh, David Bowie, uh, Dynamite, Gilead, which is basically just a machine gun that has a uh, startup period like a Gatling gun, a Gorton, uh, I cannot use this weapon for shit. It's basically uh, like a boomerang, only shaped differently. And then there's the tank. I always choose this one because it gives me a bunch of health, and uh, it I feel I like the way it handles. All right, so we're gonna be going into this. This is a lot like Binding of Isaac, only a first-person shooter. Uh, all this stuff is randomly generated. You have these different rooms that you go through, and yeah. All right, so one thing is obviously gonna suffer in this commentary, either my gameplay or my commentary. I'm gonna try uh, to have the commentary as best as I can, but yeah, later on there's a lot of shit going on through these earlier levels. So it'll be pretty good, but yeah, I might die later on. Who knows? Uh, so far I've made it to floor three. I haven't played it too much though, so I just got it like five hours ago or something like that. But I am enjoying it thoroughly. Yeah, currently I'm getting 200 frames per second while recording on the highest settings on 1080p, so it is definitely an easy game to run. Most PCs can run it. Yeah, so... Yeah. So you go through these rooms, you get money, you get hearts and whatnot if you lose those, and you try to dodge these guys as best you can. Try not to miss. Got all that. As you go through, there are different enemy types. Really don't like these guys. But they seem to die pretty easily, especially when they're alone. There we go. Yeah, and then you can get these gift shops, much like Binding of Isaac. If you played Binding of Isaac, a lot of this is very familiar. Uh, I really want those winged feet, but at the same time, I really like Adderall. I think we're going to go for winged feet because I haven't gotten that before. I'm not going to the boss just yet. I'm gonna go find the other room, the loot room. Yeah, this starting area um, doesn't come with too many enemies, but later on as you go through the floors there do is more enemies to fight and a lot more of them at one time. So the density of them increases. Yeah, my gameplay is suffering. I generally go through the first floor without losing health, but hey. I'm having a talk. Alright, so we're gonna go into this, see what we get. We gotta fight a whale. Yeah, if those blue things hit me, I just gotta dodge those. Also, occasionally it throws out a butterfly, which uh, this is normally a floor two enemy. A uh, pretty easy enemy to take out. So yeah, this is by a two-man developer that, uh, yeah, just two people made this. Of course, it's not too graphically impressive, but I don't think that really matters here. It's, uh, only $10 on Steam Early Access right now. Uh, well worth it when it comes to replayability, because it is randomly generated. At least for me, at least. Uh, there is gonna be co-op added later on in the game, so you can actually play this with another guy, which games like Binding of Isaac do not have, so I think that's very intriguing. Uh, they do plan to add the game, add more items to the game and other stuff. They uh, currently are updating it regularly. 
So all that stuff adds to a pretty great package, honestly, if you ask me. Just gotta kill this whale. Yeah, if I right-click, I throw a bomb. That was a terrible use of a bomb, but wanted to demonstrate it. Alright. These things kind of float around me. I don't really know how they work yet. But they work somehow. Oh, what is this? Blubber? Oh, I hate this stuff. This is the stuff that I always tell myself not to pick up. But I've never actually looked at the item itself. But after I pick it up, I remember it. And I hate it. A lot. But my health has increased. I'm going to need that Adderall now. Um, I'm going to try to get the winged feet. Hopefully that will help enough. I've never gotten that. I think it's win winged foot. But keep on calling it feet. Yeah, so you just go up to that, press E. Yeah, that's a lot better. Flip-flops, no thanks. I'd like to get that Adderall. I don't know if I can get 100 bucks before we go down, though. We will see. I'd like it if I was walking faster in these areas that I've already completed. I think that would be cool and uh, help commuting the area. But, small complaint. Not very important. More of a suggestion of sorts. Yeah. Yeah, if you shoot these barrels, you can blow them up easier. But don't stand near them, or else they will shoot them and you can die. Or at least get damaged. Alright, well, we got $35. Hopefully we get enough from the boss. I don't think the boss generally drops too much money. I don't remember. Never really kept track of that. But we'll see. Oh, it's this boss. Oh, God. If I didn't get that winged foot. This boss is a bitch when you're really, really slow. Try to kill this guy. Come on. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm sure if uh, I've seen it so that I do a lot of damage if I shoot the guy in the face. I'm not sure if that's just coincidence or what. Poor shoot, more loot. Oh, I didn't get 100 bucks, damn it. But I'm pretty sure those red glowing parts on the bodies, if you shoot those, they do more damage. I'm not entirely certain on that, but there are these eyeball things that I shoot, and sometimes when I get in the middle, it seems to do more damage. Not certain, though. But that's cool if that is true. Get kind of skill shots going on. Alright, level two. Yeah, this is very reminiscent of the old Doom games and a lot of those older games, how you can side strafe bullets and whatnot. And it feels really, uh, really fun. Enjoy it a lot. A lot of side strafing bullets and projectiles that you can see that are going a little bit slower than other modern military shooters. And even though I can see the projectiles, I'm still getting hit by them. Which is kind of sad right now. Awesome. Doors are opened. I'll go this way. Yeah, I'm used to getting the uh, double jump early on, so that helps a lot with uh, avoiding projectiles. Maybe we'll get in this red room up here. Yes, got him. Alright, where is the red room? Money room over here. We'll go see what's in there. No money in here, right? Just double check. Yeah, I don't see anything. Alright. Let's see what's in here. Uh, bombs. I don't use bombs nearly as much as I should. Uh, yeah, alright. Let's go red room. Oh, well, look at that. Yeah, 
I usually use bombs on these guys. This is one of the enemies that it's very useful against. They even drop bombs. Didn't know that. Alright, let's get this skull. Yeah, now my bombs float. I got 130 bucks. I don't think that's going to help me much. It might. I don't remember what was in here. I don't want that bomb box, so... Cheapest thing I can get is those scissors. I do not know what those do. Alright, let's try this. So yeah, as you can see, the game's pretty complete considering it's early access. I've played a lot of other early access games that are not nearly as uh, feature complete as this. I mean, the guns feel flawless, honestly, and the combat is very smooth. A lot of more features later on. I saw the trailer of the game. There seems to be a lot of playing around with uh, abilities and whatnot, like you can walk around on the roof and play with gravity. Cool stuff like that. Uh, so far in the early game, which is mostly what I've played, I haven't seen too much of that, so I'm assuming that's more late game stuff, but a lot of it looks very interesting. done. Yeah, and the soundtrack for this game is probably one of my favorite parts as well. Uh, very unique. God damn it. Can't believe I got hit by that. But yeah. Uh, goes well with the situations when it gets really intense, the music gets really intense as well. And yeah, uh, we'll just tune out me for a little while, raise volume on that, and have you listen to the soundtrack. Alright, so there's a taste of that. Then it starts to get more intense, and yeah. Yeah, very ma makes the game feel very unique, having a custom soundtrack like that. I am enjoying that a lot. Alright, now time for a second boss fight. I am doing absolute shit when it comes to not getting hit, but... It uh, happens. Is there a... There's those white projectiles. I didn't know if there was an actual butterfly in here or if that, it was that shooting those. There we go. Alright, what's this? Oh, rum! Yes! Lowers my health by that in spades, so it doesn't matter that much. And I don't think it actually takes my current hearts, it just takes my max hearts away. I'd say that's a good trade. Walk faster and whatnot. I think earlier I got the thing for more loot, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I can't really afford any of this stuff. Unfortunate. Alright, we'll just probably finish up this run. There's not much else to show really in this video other than gameplay. So, you can buy this game on Steam or many other places like Desura. I'm pretty sure if you buy on the other places, you get the DMR free or DRM free version and the steam key so that is an option if you do not want to just get the steam version
Yeah, the other weapons of this game completely change up how it plays. Like, the machine gun is, uh, has very slow projectiles, so you kind of got to lead your target a little bit. Uh, the bow, you have to want, uh, pull back and then launch, and it's a projectile as well, so you got to really aim that. But it does high damage, and it'll kill most enemies like this in one to sh two shots. So that's good. Uh, the grenade launcher, I haven't used that much, so I can't say much about that, but it's pretty self-explanatory. It shoots uh, projectiles that have AoE. And I think that's all the weapons. Oh yeah, then there's the throwing weapon that uh, I don't know how to use for shit. You like throw it and it comes back and you can hit an enemy twice with it on the throw and then the return. You can hit it, the enemy again, but if you move it, it comes back in a different arc. Uh, very skill based. I'm just good with this shotgun. <laughs> There are other weapons you can buy in the game uh, via those uh, storerooms. I've seen an M14 and a rocket launcher. Uh, both of those handle completely different from what I've seen. The M14 is like this shotgun, only it's fully automatic. Probably does less damage per shot, uh, so on and so forth. So that's unique. Oh, we found a lava room. I hate these things so much. Apparently they used to be a little bit more dangerous too. They actually have to nerf these. Oh, another one. Yeah. I'm used to the ones where there's like a platform on the side here. Yeah, like there. So I'd start from this way and then I'd jump down there and that kind of helped me. And also having double jump. Not having double jump right now is kind of... Oh, I hate this enemy. I'm yet to beat this enemy, so I'll pro Yep. Uh... I really like that, how it fades away like that. That's unique, but that's me done. Uh, I guess we could kind of show, whatchamacallit, the bow gameplay. Yeah, David Bowie. Probably won't finish this because it might take a while, but I'll show it off a little bit and kind of give you an example on how it's different from everything else. An example on how I could be worse at the game. Is that even possible? Yeah, see that guy got killed in one shot it seemed like. How dare you move! There we go. Yeah, this weapon I start out with 4 health instead of uh, the 9 that the other weapon starts me out with, so I don't do very good. I tend to die really fast with this weapon. Alright, it's going well so far. This will go check out this over here. Yeah, I think this will be the last room I show off. Pretty easy open room. Yeah, you can shoot those guys when they are going at you like that. Uh, however, they are going a lot faster, so good not to get hit. Alright, so I think that concludes this video. Uh, game's pretty complete, honestly. Uh, the only thing I could suggest is add more items, more stuff, you know. Which they are doing, and they are actually adding co-op, which I did not expect when I bought the game. Alright, so thanks for watching, and uh, pick up this game if you like it. There are many different places you can buy it from, like I said, with DRM-free versions, and so on and so forth. Alright, thanks for watching.